Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. And I gotta say, I spent quite a bit of time in the Battlefield 5 beta. I mean, a, a lot of time. And I have good and bad things to say. Let's start off with some bad things. The rockets did not feel like they were dealing enough damage. Most of the time you only spawn with two of them. I had three in that instance and it still wasn't enough to destroy that vehicle and get some kills. And then my internet decided it wanted to be an a-hole and get me killed. So all of the shots I took didn't land. Now let's talk about the bugs because this is pretty bad. Now you see me? No, you don't. All right, when parts of your world are disappearing in the middle of a match, that's an issue. That, that's a pretty major issue. This bug, I kind of like, though. Reviving my buddy, I'm like, all right, let's get back in this. What, what, what the heck's wrong with you, man? Get back here. Oh, my God, if the enemy sees you, they're going to call a short bus and have you escorted off the battlefield. This is embarrassing. I, I don't know if I can be seen running around with you. What the heck is wrong with you? All right, moving on. Building fortifications. Going into the beta, I didn't like the idea one bit. I was firmly on the side of, I don't want Fortnite in my battlefield. I want Battlefield in my battlefield. Bring back the battlefield. Now, after getting it tested out, I gotta say, I feel like it's fairly well done. They actually put a decent amount of thought into it. Thank God it's not like Fortnite, where you could just throw crap wherever you wanted it. I actually kind of hope moving forward that they continue to allow fortifications in future battlefields. I like the idea. Alright, so let's just touch on some random things. Good, bad, and in between. Start off with some bad. Planes. I did not care for the planes one bit. They just they didn't feel right. When I finally got the controls the way I wanted them and got to fly, it was just boring. I, I didn't... It still didn't feel like it was controlling like I wanted it to. Wasn't... Wasn't overly impressed, but then again, I'm more of a helicopter kind of guy. So, that might be part of my problem. Another problem? A lack of shenanigans. Alright, where's my rocket jeep? I want to launch jeeps and all sorts of crap through the air just to entertain myself from time to time. I need these little things. They might not seem like much, and they might seem ridiculous. But God, they are fun. Alright? We really missed out on the Battlefield 1 opportunity of Rocket Horse. All right, I was really looking forward going into that one to launch Pegasus into the air and just screw some people up. All right, let's go to kind of in between and something that I definitely had major issues with going into the beta. And now I'm halfway okay with it. Only halfway, though. And that's going to be the weapon upgrade tree. I didn't like the idea in the slightest. An upgrade tree on your weapons? Are you, this is this is Battlefield. What are you talking about? This is retarded. But after seeing it, most of the upgrades that you can take are the same things that weapon attachments in Battlefield 4 would do. Such as reducing like your vertical or horizontal recoil. And I'm fine with that. I mean, part of my problem in Battlefield 1 was you really couldn't upgrade your weapon in any way because there weren't weapon attachments out the wazoo like in Battlefield 4. So I'm okay with the ones that work the same as weapon attachments. Now, there are a few weird ones out there that definitely don't do anything a weapon attachment in Battlefield 4 would do. And screw that. That doesn't need to be in Battlefield all right, move on to some of the good things. This is another thing I didn't think I would like going into the beta, and that's squad revive. Going in, I was like, what are you doing? You're going to screw over the medic class. I mean, wh what are you thinking? And then I got in and got to play it and got to do some squad revives, get squad revive. And I went, oh, I like this. I like this a lot, really. I mean, when I run with my squad in Battlefield, there's times when... None of us really want to be a medic. 
and you just kind of draw straws and someone just gets stuck with it even though they really don't want to do it squad revive solved that issue and i like it another cool thing that i was happy with is recon got the spawn beacon back thank god he needed it so bad or she needed it because it's a, a, a woman i'm not touching on that subject by the way because i've been different all right overall the guns they feel good uh, i'm I like the feel of a lot of the guns. Some of them, they don't feel too good until you start to upgrade them. So they act somewhat decent. Now, there are some changes that I know of coming after the beta when we hit full release. Uh, I know they talked about toning down character customization, such as the prosthetic arm. They're talking about letting you spawn with uh, one extra magazine of ammo, which... I'm, I'm all for that. However, they're talking about you may spawn with a health pack. Not not a fan of that. Now, I'm going to leave you with something you probably didn't know was in the game. You see that? This blew my mind when I saw it. A freaking whale. Huh. Who would have thought? There's a whale out there. What a lovely use of resources. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share later. Later.